All right, just a little coffee chat. Got my coffee, and now it's time to chat. I didn't know exactly what I want to say in this video. In a way, I still don't, but I just want to come on here and say thank you for all the views that the channel has been getting. I have been trying to keep consistency going on putting up videos on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I want to keep that going regardless if it's a chat as it is now or actually something like Uber Eats or Postmates or whatever or a review on a new device which this video is coming soon. And just to reach out and say thank you for all the views and the comments and everything that you are putting on this channel. It just shows that the content that I'm making is valuable to you. People are even reaching out in email, uh, even calling the studio and asking questions about some of the videos to get more in depth of what the content is, how to do this, how to tie a microphone to a cell phone, how to record a uh, conversation on a phone so they can make a podcast out of it but all meanwhile we still have to stay safe with our gloves and all the masks not all of us are able to continue working hopefully you find a way to mitigate yourself through this um, horrible times that we are going through. I know the bills, some bills will not stop just because your income, your revenue is stopped because you can't go to work. Now some of us out there are still blessed to be able to do work and I, I have to say I am one of them. I just had a call, conference call with uh, some, uh, let's see, two, three, four people in a company in India. I had a business conference this morning with them, helping them out to get their content actually on YouTube. Um, what hardware they need to use to get that done with what they got, and what they can add to it to get it done. It's not easy in times like this to keep your sanity because it's just so far from normal it's it's hard to keep going every day when you can't do the normal things and we all need to reach out to each other as much as possible and help the ones that is not as fortunate to be able to continue to work. I've hired four people that lost their job temporarily because their boss already said when this is all over you can come back to work. But they needed some, you know, this come in because they got to feed their family and some bills they still got to pay. So I try my best to help everyone that I can in having this laptop on a table is not the sturdiest <laughs> location to have but it works I've been sitting behind my big studio uh, computer that I built and I figured I'd just start using the laptop kinda different change of scene a little bit and plus it's a little bit closer to the coffee maker too it's right over there But I just want to say thank you for all the pleasant comments, thumbs ups, subscribe, and all that I have graciously gotten on this channel. And as I tell anyone, if you have any questions about any video that you see on this channel, or you want more information about some topic that I talked about, Look in the description 
you'll get information where you can actually reach out to us in our studio email Facebook Twitter and many other places even have our post office box that you can actually send things to a letter or whatever you need to send I don't know it all nobody does but I help everyone that I can there's things that I have been wanting to do and make content on but I cannot do it right now because of the virus that's going around I'm a internet service provider I have been for a little bit over two years now but things are taking off and as soon as it started getting ready to really balloon into something beautiful even more than what it already was this virus came up I got a 200 foot tower that I have access to now to put a antenna on to be able to provide internet to the surrounding areas I can put an antenna up there and I can send internet as far as 10, 12, 15 miles, if not further, if I really need to. But I would have to have another tower pretty much if I go beyond that because it has to be line of sight to be able to do it in a big antenna. But the opportunities that is at our hands that gives us the opportunity to generate revenue so easily it's not like in the you know in the earlier years that you had to go get you a high school diploma then go to college to get your degree or two or three then go get a job and pretty much pay the college off for the rest of your life basically now you can get out of high school and you can go get a job without even needing any college whatsoever. Be a entrepreneur. There's so many opportunities out there. Of course, you have to work many hours to do it. It's not like 9 to 5. It's like 9 to 9, 9 to 10, 9 to 11. But at the end, when it takes off, it was worth it. I know the first five, six years of me stepping out on my own because I did not work, did not like working for others. I tried many kind of jobs. I tried sitting behind a desk. Mm -mm. that was boring I didn't like the work that I had to do enough to be able to sit at that desk I been a manager at fast food restaurants mm -mm. couldn't pay me enough to stay in a brick more uh, a brick building all day and dealing with what I had to deal with I tried driving for like Domino's and became a manager there um, nothing there I liked either so then I got into doing electrical work and I come to find very quickly that I like being outdoors and working with my hands. I did that for about three years, on and off, doing some other things when I was still a manager at a place. But I come to find 
that being outside and working with my hands is what I wanted to do. So I set out to find something that would get me outside, work with my hands, and it would be something that was in high demand in my area. And someone said one day to me, when I was just sitting there at a coffee shop, stirred up a conversation. We were there like 7.30, 8 o'clock that morning. He just said hello, and we just started talking. And he mentioned, he said, man, anybody that's got a job that has to deal with this heat that we have in this area has got a secure job forever. Well, I thought about that. I said, he's right. That's one thing about the surrounding area where I live in Wilmington, North Carolina. The humidity during the summer is brutal. And the weather is very unpredictable. It can be 72, 75 during the day, and before you get up next morning, it can be down to 33, 34 degrees. So I thought about it. I said, well, how about heating and air? So I checked on it, went through classes, got certifications and all that good stuff. Went down there, registered the business name, opened up, and been going ever since. And that fellow was right. Job security in that area. There's a little bit of time between the two, summer and winter, that you're not really that busy, but you have things like prevent maintenance that will get you through them two or three months beginning and end of the year. But during the summer and the winter, you just go in non-stop. Now, for the last five years, I have stopped advertising. Because I want to get out of that because at the age that I am, which is not old, it's just my plan when I started, when I turned between 50 and 55, I wanted to get out of it and have enough sitting there and everything to be able to travel. But all the meanwhile, at that time, I didn't know that YouTube and Facebook and Twitter and social media was going to be developed, at least not to the extent that it is now. So I got into it, and here I am now getting paid to travel. What I've been working on all these years to be able to travel when I get my age. And here I am sitting on a laptop. Drinking my coffee, and I can do this anywhere I got internet, in a hotel, anywhere I go. And I get paid to travel, to stay, to speak at events, and it's all paid for. Only thing I got to defend is the food, or the days that I want to stay beyond what they actually cover. And usually it's three or four days at least what they cover and only got to speak one day. And at first I wonder why they want me to speak on Monday but they wanted me there by Thursday. I thought they wanted to have some conversations between them. No, they just want me there relaxed and ready to go on Monday. So I get there on Thursday, spend Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night, and then go speak Monday. And if I want to stay, it's on me then. But I never dreamed of what I have gotten into or what my life has led myself into 
with the technology out there. Back when I started my business of heating and air service, I would I I didn't even think that there's something that's going to come around that when I semi retire per se out of heating and air that was going to take care and do what I've been working all these years for. I was thinking work 30, 40 years, be able to get out of heat and air, and be able to just travel and see the world. But I didn't know that, you know, something else is going to come along and actually pick up the tab. Opportunities are there all around us every day. And back in when it was Windows 95, we thought that was great to be able to see them three little blocks go across on AOL when it's connecting to the Internet. Not once did I ever think that I can be an Internet provider. But here I am. I got many clients that I actually provide internet to. The opportunity is endless. And people out there that say they can't find a job, there's nothing out there that they can get into. That's hard to believe when there's so many opportunities out there. Now, of course, if you have a degree or if you want to get in a certain field, yeah, that's going to narrow down your possibilities. But you need to open up your horizon and take on something to be able to get you by until you find what you're looking for. You never know unless you get into something that might be more beneficial than what you really want to get into. But you never know until you try. But I just want to say thank you for all the views, all my subscribers, and all the comments that I get on my videos. Of course, there's going to be them haters and just people that don't have nothing else better to do than sit on the keyboard and spew out their hate. But that's okay. We also still have the delete and block button. And we use it on a regular basis as needed. It don't ruffle any of our feathers. We just say, have a nice day, delete, and block. Simple. We don't have time for that childish stuff. And there's more of it now since everybody's almost, you know, everybody is sitting at home now that usually is at work. But I just wanted to make this little coffee chat to, to say thank you. And don't limit yourself to just one or two things. Find something that you're passionate about and see if you can turn it into a revenue. The, the opportunity to do that is endless out there in the world now. If you want it bad enough, you'll find something. But most of all, be safe. Take care of others, your neighbors, your family. Call them once a day. Rather that's through the Internet, FaceTime, cell phone, text, email. Whatever it may be, keep in contact. Of course, we supposed to be our social distancing of each other, but we can still use social media to keep in contact. Don't let anybody hold you back. I mean anybody. I have had friends that I've had 
for years that pretty much told me that it wasn't going to work. Well, they were wrong, and they don't want to be friends anymore. And I've had some that said, well, I, they actually admitted, said, well, I, I was wrong. Now, can you help me to do what you've done? I didn't know if I would be able to do what I wanted to do when I started, but I was determined, I was eager, and I was passionate enough about it to make it work. And if you want something bad enough, you can make it work too. Stay safe, drink more coffee, and I'll see you in the next Coffee Chat video.